So Mark is over here with a palette of Delta robots, and we are currently trying to trust them to new stands that we are building for the way they're going to be presented at stuff. And so the problem we're seeing is that when we operate them, that they it wails, it has a lot of instability, and we don't want that. So um, the first thing I did is I added tensioning cables across, and that helped uh, with that helped a little bit. I can retension these to make them a little bit more strong. We've weighted them down. Uh, I'm going to buy sandbags, but right now I just have random crap in the house, weighting that down. So that that's helped a lot. And then now I'm down to the pallet at the top. Um, uh, because it's on this little triangular thing and it's resting here, it has a lot of like flex and give. And so um, the easy thing that we thought of that might work is I just cut some bungee cords and I'm going to bungee the back and it'll hold it down against this platform. And that should take most of the vibration out or at least enough that we won't have problems. Okay, so for the record, our setup last year was the big, like, igloo dodecahedron-y shape. Not a dodecahedron, I don't know, like a soccer ball. Right. So each facet had one of these pallets on it, and we made like a big dome fort thing. So, um, like Mark said, this year we're making kind of like a bleacher, like bandstand type setup. So that whoever is um, controlling the robots, because we're bringing interactivity back this year, um, the robots kind of surround them like a wall, so it's a bit more immersive. So that's that's the plan. So how's it looking, Mark? Uh, it looks a lot better. So it, even though it wiggles a little bit, it's not making the crappy noise. Um, and I can already see at the bottom if I brace these out a little bit and get these tensioned right, that a lot of the motion, a lot of the wiggle is like suppressed by these. I am assembling another one of these. This is shorter than the first one we did, since the deltas will be lower than as they go wider. So I'm making two of these. And then I'll make a third set of sh even shorter ones. Two stands. Two? Got. Ah, 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 ah. Yeah. So what I'm talking about. So I just gotta add a few little minor things to it. I kinda gotta buff this out. Um, there's, this creates a little corner that the delta palette hits. And so I have to sand it out at an angle. You can see it on the other one. Um, and then we're gonna add the little eyelets that I let, let me tie the little uh, cross brace yes. cords. And the, yeah. um, I, in, the old one had them out here in the front, but I moved the other ones to the back. So they're kind of a little more hidden, and then they can go up further behind the delta. Cool. Making the Velcro. We have five stands done. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, since they are very vertical, like these pallets are basically hanging on a wall, uh, we have to reinforce the Velcro that is sticking them to their little pod dues. We have these Velcroed in on little dots, um, but we added a strip right here. So you can see they're really hard to pull off now, but we added this strip up here and that really keeps them from wiggling out over time or just falling off. 